This is part three of our series on how to build a copper moonshine still. The first step in building your still would be to clean the burrs off of the edges of the parts. At least one side of the copper will have a burr on it, but sometimes both do. Uh, to figure out if there's a burr, just run your fingertips over the edge of the parts and uh, you'll feel it. Um, remember to, though to be careful because the copper can be sharp. I'm using some 100 grit sandpaper and I'm just going to lightly hit the edge of the copper at about a 45 degree angle and knock off any debris. I like to follow the sandpaper with my other hand and um, check the edge as I go just to make sure I've gotten everything and um, just to make sure that the edge is uh, nice and smooth. So the reason we're doing this is to ensure that the edge is lapped together flush before we start soldering the still. Um, these parts are computer designed and they're machine cut and they will fit together absolutely perfectly if you have everything clean before you start so this is a very important step. Alright so the next step will be to remove any oxidation from the edges that will get soldered together which is what I'm doing here. To do this we'll just hit it again with the sandpaper but this time I'm concentrating on this flat surface of the copper and not the edge. It's a bit easier to clean the teeth of the still boiler with the wire brush um, which is what I'm doing here. And uh, I like to clean about a half an inch to an inch of all the edges. You don't have to go crazy here. Um, all you really need to do is just scratch the, the copper up a bit. Okay, next I'll deburr the bottom of the boiler here. This is a large circular piece. And just look like we do with the boiler. Take the sandpaper, kind of hit the edge at a 45 degree, and knock off all the debris. And just like we do with the boiler wall, we'll go ahead and rough up about a half an inch on the outside of the part to make sure that the solder adheres properly. We'll move on to this uh, donut looking piece, we call it the cap plate. And once again, I'm just going to knock the burrs off. Again, this is so the parts fit together absolutely perfectly when you put them together. And I go ahead and rough up the top and the bottom, the edges about a half inch in on all of the edges to make sure that the solder sticks like it's supposed to. We'll keep it rolling with the collar. Both sides of this collar um, have a bit of burring on it and I'm going to just go ahead and knock the burrs off of both of the sides and then I'll follow that up by pretty much sanding the entire thing since it's such a small piece. And finally the vapor cone. I'll knock the burrs off of the inside of the piece and then I move on to the outside. And in fact, I'm going to hit up both sides because both sides have a bit of a burr on it. Then I'll sand the piece to make sure that the solder sticks. And finally, we'll run through the same exact process with the cap skirt. Make sure to check out the next video where we will shape the boiler.